One of the most common questions that we hear from our members is, can you cut crepe paper with a cutting machine? Well, the answer is yes. So in this mini course, I'm going to show you which machines talk about blades, mats, and I'm going to give you all of the tips and tricks that we have found to get the best results when cutting crepe paper. If you're new to working with crepe paper and making crepe paper flowers, make sure and watch our video, which is a free class, and it's called 10 Things You'll Want to Know About Crepe Paper. The most important thing to know when you are cutting crepe paper on a cutting machine is that there are only two cutting machines currently that you can use, and these are the machines that have the rotary blades. As much as we would love to cut crepe paper with the fine point or the auto blade, it just doesn't work. The way that the blades are short and how the crepe paper is craped and the way that it drags along to cut, it just pulls the crepe right off the mat and it just won't cut. So that's why when they came out with the rotary blades, we thought this was genius. It cuts the crepe paper like butter. So if you're wanting to cut crepe paper, you will need to have a Cricut Maker with the rotary blade housing, or you can have the Silhouette 4 and you'll need to purchase the extra rotary blade to go with that. If you're looking to buy a machine and want to know a little bit more, make sure and watch the free class called 11 Things You'll Want to Think About Before You Buy a Cutting Machine, where we go over all of the details on both of these machines. The projects on our site, we use three different types of crepe paper. We have the extra fine, the heavy, and the double-sided. So each one cuts a little bit different. But as far as mats go, we actually find that we usually just use the standard grip mat. Mats go from being very, very sticky to not sticky, even though it's the same mat. So it really depends on how new your mat is and how used it is. What you'll want to watch for is that your crepe paper sticks on the mat just enough so that it doesn't move around, but you don't want it so sticky that you can't peel it off because then you'll just ruin your crepe paper. There are several ways to make for sure that your crepe paper is stuck to the mat. And some of the tricks that we use is we'll use a brayer. You can just lightly press down and just make for sure that it's all in place. Now again, you don't want it so sticky that you can't get it off. If your mat is a little less sticky on the edge, you can always use masking tape, scotch tape, or even washi tape all around the edge of your crepe just to hold it in place while it's cutting. Now, you'll want to make sure that doesn't go over the edge of the mat because that will get stuck in the machine and we don't want that. All of the SVG cut files that we prepare for you have these little notes at the top and that will explain exactly the things you want to think about when you're getting ready to cut your crepe paper. So make for sure before you start cutting that you hide these by clicking the eye icon. Part of the instructions that will be hidden are the lines, which we call grain lines, that are over each pattern. And this is really important. So as you can see, the grain is going vertical. The pattern that we're using shows the grain vertical. It's really important that you don't rotate your petals or your leaves. If you do, we just won't get the results that we're looking for. All of the Leah Griffith crepe paper is 10 inches long. So you'll have 10 inches this direction and you can do a full 12 inches if you're using all of that crepe paper. Now let's talk about settings for the Cricut and you might want to write this down. We've had the best success cutting our extra fine crepe paper with the cotton fabric setting. We keep trying to use the crepe paper setting, but we find sometimes they do some updates in their software and we oftentimes find that it doesn't cut all the way through the crepe paper. For the heavy and the double-sided, we use the denim fabric setting. Just to be safe, you might wanna take a little piece of crepe paper and do just a round test cut to make for sure that your blade is sharp and that that's the right setting for your crepe paper. When you place your Leah Griffith SVG cut file into your design space, you'll notice that we do have some cutting notes. And the thing that we really want you to pay attention to are the grain line marks. And this is to show you, again, exactly how to place your paper on your mat and also to remind you not to rotate your pieces because you want your pieces to follow the grain line to get the best results for the petals or the leaves. Once you've read these over and understand, you can just go ahead and click the I button to hide them. We arrange our SVG cut files so that you can get the most out of your crepe paper. When you place it on to the mat, everything will be grouped into one. So go ahead and ungroup that. Now you'll see that each color is in its own group. Just click on each color group and then click attach and that will keep things in position so that when you click the make it button, the pieces won't spread apart. 
This is set up for one flower, but I'm going to make two. So I'll click two, apply, and I have two sets on my cutting mat. You can click on that and move it around depending on how you have your crepe paper laid out. I'll move mine back and now I'm ready to cut. For this magnolia flower, I only need six inches of crepe paper. So I went ahead and cut this six inches wide and I'm going to place it onto my mat. Now it's important that you do get it stuck on quite well. So we have a couple different things we use depending on the stickiness of the mat. You can use a brayer and press down this direction. And I usually go the direction of the grain or we also like this tool, which is a really nice broad scraper tool. And this presses it down really nicely as well. Again, try not to get it stuck too much because we do have to get it off. And now it's ready to slide into the machine and cut. I do have a little bin where I save all these extra pieces because you never know when you might need a little piece of crepe paper. And this is a perfect example to show why you don't want to rotate your crepe paper from where the grain lines are showing. This piece right here, I can't pull it off this direction because it will stretch. So I'm going to very carefully use this little tool to just nudge underneath. So this piece is the center of my flower and I need the grain lines to go up and down the short way because I'll be fringing this. And if I had cut it the other direction, my center of my flower would just flop. Open your SVG in the design studio and move the SVG off the mat and ungroup. The most important thing is that you notice which direction the grain lines are going for each piece. Go ahead and look over the cut notes that we've placed on the file and then delete that layer. The parts are now grouped by color. Move the group that you want to cut over to the design mat. Then select send. Select the group, then turn off the cut lines for tool one and the red lines will disappear. Select the designs again, then click tool two and select cut and the blue lines will turn on. To make custom cut settings for crepe paper, select the plus symbol and name the material Leah Griffith and then the type of crepe paper. Change material and drop down to paper and then select large plus and choose Cameo 4 tool 2. Change action to rotary cut and remove craft cut action. For extra fine, use the default setting for the rotary tool. For double or heavy crepe paper, change the force to 20, then save. Exit out of material settings. Select your new Leah Griffith crepe paper setting from the material dropdown load the mat and click send. The crepe has been cut and this is the usual way that we like to get it off the mat is just do the typical rolling of the mat and then you can just peel back the crepe. But if you're finding that your crepe is stuck a little bit more than you want it to be, a couple different tools that we like to use. The spatula tool works really well to kind of nudge underneath and then pull the crepe up. We also use these little needle nose tweezers. You can just grab the edge of it and gently pull it up. But one of the things you'll want to note is try to pull it up the direction of the grain rather than sideways. The double sided works pretty well since it's not quite as stretchy, but if you're working with the extra fine crepe paper, you might find that it stretches a bit if it's mats too sticky and you try to pull it off sideways. If I try to pull the leaf off the mat like this, it possibly could stretch. So what works really well is just to use this little tool and loosen it up that direction and it just falls right off. This is the heavy crepe paper, so it has a lot of tooth and it has 250% stretch, so you want to be really gentle when you take it off the mat. Cutting crepe paper on a cutting machine is such a great way to get a lot of pieces cut quickly 
and they create such beautiful smooth cuts. Now there are some times when you don't want to use the cutting machine and this is a perfect example. These are just the little strips that I did cut on the machine which you could cut by hand just as easily for the center of the flowers. Now the part that you cannot cut on the machine you'll have to get out your little craft scissors and just practice this and you can become really good and fast at this are the fringes. You just cannot do that on the cutting machine. It's too fine and too small. So I think a good pair of scissors and a cutting machine are the perfect pair. If you are new to making crepe paper flowers, we do have several other videos that you might want to watch so that you can become really comfortable with the material and with using your cutting machine. We also have dozens of crepe and paper flower videos teaching you step by step how to make them from the flat paper to the beautiful bloom. If you haven't already, be sure and subscribe to our email because we will have new courses, new classes, and we're even creating a master class right now where we're teaching you the beginner's guide to crepe paper flower making.